Birmingham's Red Mountain Theatre Company is presenting a tale as old as time. Will you be a Beauty and the Beast is a classic love story that many of us know, but the Broadway musical tells it in a unique way. Every show is different, and every show, even, even if they've seen it before, can hit you in a different way. It can hit home in a different way. They can be like, oh wait, I really relate to this person. Like, I didn't relate to them bef this before, or I didn't, I felt a different way about a different part in the show, but like, this production is different. And that's the great thing about theater is it's always different. Live theater is different. Every show is not the same. You get chills that, you know, you had when you were first a kid and you saw this and you were able to feel the emotions of this show that it touches like just real deep down in your soul. And it is definitely a story that grips you. And plus it's just fun. This story is a favorite to many of us, including these actors. So when they found out that they got these roles, it was almost magical to them. I screamed for a few minutes. <laughs> I mean, this is a dream for me. This is a dream role. This was, it, when people ask, what's the number one for you, that this is it. She's really special to me because she's different and she doesn't fit the mold and she's a really strong princess. For Sam Torres, the journey to becoming Lumiere has been 10 years in the making. In 2008, he auditioned for the role. Didn't get it because I was too young at the time. They needed somebody who was in, you know, in their late 20s, early 30s. And so um, this has been 10 years in the making for me. So I, I always waited for that moment for the auditions to open again. So not only it meant something to me when I was a child, but it also, in my adulthood, it's, it's meant that, uh, you know, it's, it's meant to be. So I, I'm excited to be part of this, of this great, great cast. The production is running through July 1st at the Dorothy Jemison Day Theater at the Alabama School of Fine Arts. For ticket information, visit redmountaintheater.org. I encourage people to come see it because it's not gonna, it's not, it's not what you've seen before. It's different and they, and I hope that they're open to that and that they want to, that they are open to the story and want to be touched by something different even though it's our timeless classic.